Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Madison Lee and today I'm going to be doing a look based on this photo that I saw. Her name is Ash, but her like handle on Instagram and YouTube is Atlee, A-T-L-E-E-E-E-Y. She is gorgeous, she's so talented, but I saw that picture and I thought it was so cool. So I wanted to do something kind of similar. I wanted to do it a little bit darker. Yeah, so please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see on my channel. I put out new videos every Saturday and sometimes Wednesdays. And don't forget to check out Ash and her channel and her Instagram. She's so talented, so beautiful. If you want to see how I achieved this really intense red smoky eye, please keep watching. Thanks. Okay, so as you can see, I already have my eyebrows done and my eyelids primed. And I set my eyelid primer, which is just concealer, with a translucent powder just because this is going to be a really intense look and I don't want to have to like deal with concealer sticking or eyeshadow sticking, whatever. Okay, so diving right in, I'm going to start out using, I'm using two palettes today, so just bear with me. So the first palette that I'm going to be using is the Dear Santa um, Holiday Palette from Kylie Jenner, or Kylie Cosmetics. And I don't think this is available anymore, but the main reason I'm using this one is because it has a lot of really pretty red shades. The other palette that I'm going to be using is the Morphe 3503 Fierce by Nature palette. This one does have a lot of good reds in it as well. The only thing is, I was thinking about using this one as my dark red, but it's more of like a magenta, like orangey pinky color, and I really wanted like a true deep red. So that is why I will be going in with the Kylie Cosmetics palette first. Um, just to start out though, I'm going to go in with this um, color called Reindeer Dreams on a Morphe M5-5 brush. And I'm just buffing that into my crease just to kind of lay a base of where everything is going to go. Just kind of helping to define my eye a little bit more. Okay, now to start going in with the red, I'm going to be taking a Morphe M535. Is this the same brush I was just using? Yeah, so I have the same brush, but for some reason this one is a little more dense. I think just because this one's older. So I'm going in with this one, and I'm going to be using the colors Treat Your Elf and Made You Cookies, and maybe a little bit of Kris Kringle. I'm kind of just mixing all of those reds until I can find like the perfect shade of red that I'm looking for. And I'm just going to like lightly start packing that all on the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just kind of laying the shape down first and then I'm going to go in and blend things out more. And because I don't have on foundation, it doesn't really matter how messy you get because you just clean it up. And again, you don't need this palette specifically. Any like red shade will work. I just, this is what I have and so I'm gonna use it. And as you can see, I'm not going all the way up to the brow bone just because this color is so dark. So what I'm gonna do is go back in with that first brush in that same crease color. And I'm gonna use that to kind of blend out along my eyebrow. <laughs> The key to getting this part right, it's very monotonous, but you kind of just have to switch back and forth between the red and the like brown color until it creates just like a perfect seamless blend up into the eyebrow. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to lightly cut my crease using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going in using a Morphe M224 brush and I'm just going to lightly cut just the front part of the crease and I'm not being too precise with it because I'm going to go back over with a pencil brush so I'm just lightly cutting out like the front probably like that much like almost two-thirds of the eye oh my gosh if you just heard that that was my dog snoring as you can see they kind of have similar shape um, I'm not really trying to make them like the most even. This is kind of a sisters not twin situation, so no big deal if they're not perfectly even. And then taking a flat BH Cosmetics number no. seven brush, I'm gonna go in with this neon orange right here in the Morphe palette. And I did not um, set my concealer that I just used, so I'm just gonna lightly use that 
to set this concealer. Ooh. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of this one because it's looking a little more bright red than orange, which is weird. This was like the color that I was hoping for for the outer half and I don't, okay, well, we'll just see where this goes. Um, that pigmentation on that neon orange though is so good. That is like neon orange. I love that. Okay, so now that I have that on, the red honestly kind of looks insignificant. So I'm gonna go back in with a mixture of the bright red that I was using, and I'm gonna go in with the red that I was worried about from the Morphe 350 palette that I thought looked too pink, this one. I'm just gonna dip into it a little bit just because the shades in there are really like really neon and so if I can just give it a little bit more of that neon energy I think I'll like how it looks more. I don't know how these Morphe shadows are so neon like I'm shocked. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like I'm getting the result that I'm looking for the most when I take that Morphe color and just kind of press it onto my eye, trying to get that really intense neon color. And I think because I have the dark red underneath from the Kylie palette, it's not looking too um, pink. It look, does look more like red. Now I'm going to go in with a... BH Cosmetics number five brush. This is just like a little dome brush and I'm going in with the same red and I'm gonna just lightly like smooth out this crease area. And then after that, I'm gonna go back in with my original Murphy brush with that same browed brown shade and just try to smooth this all out. I never do makeup like this. This is so intense for me. A little out of my comfort zone, but I really wanted to try it. I thought the picture was so pretty. I thought she looked gorgeous, and I love these colors, so I just wanted to try it. Okay, so the next step to this is I'm going to add a wing and also take a makeup wipe and clean up um, this area, and I'm going to do that off camera, and I'll be right back. I went ahead and applied some winged eyeliner, and I went ahead and put on some lashes. These are another pair of lashes from that AOA Studio, the like dollar lashes, and these are in the shade Vanessa. And I do really like these. They're a lot more dramatic than anything that I would wear, but I feel like with this kind of a look, it goes really nicely. So now moving on to the skin, as you can tell, I'm like really breaking out. Like my skin is probably the worst it's ever been. Um, so I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer to start um, and just put that all over the areas of my face that are a little more oily, I guess, and need a little more attention okay and then because my skin is so bad and I'm going in with a different foundation than what I normally use I'm gonna use another primer and this is the Colourpop all-star mattifying primer and I'm just using this kind of like all over my face just to give my skin some extra blurring and mattifying help I guess is the word I'm looking for um, I'm gonna be mixing two foundations today I'm gonna be using the Becca skin love foundation I'm in the shade driftwood and then I'm also going to be using the Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation and this is in the shade beige deep and the reason I'm going in with these two is because this is a pretty full coverage foundation it's not the most full coverage um, but I'm going to use this on the majority of my face and then any areas like over here over here where I have some more problem areas I'm going to go in with the Marc Jacobs Remarkable foundation because this is the most full coverage foundation ever so I'm going to take a little like flat paintbrush and start applying the Becca one and I'm just kind of putting it on areas where my skin is not as bad so like all over my forehead um, I'm also going to try and not put as much foundation on my nose today just because my freckles are like popping and I think it's kind of cute and I hate faux freckles like I'll do them but I don't love them I rather would just let the ones I have show so I'm taking that and I'm just lightly kind of almost using it as a concealer um, just on any areas where I may have some discoloration, some blemishes, a little bit of scarring. 
just anywhere where my skin looks like it needs a little more help. And you can see I'm being very light with this. I tried to use this the first time I got it, like as a full all over foundation, and I looked scary. Like it's that full coverage. So if you are looking for a full, full coverage foundation, that is the winner. And I'm just gonna be taking that, blending it out with a beauty blender for the most part. Okay, so I'm gonna be going in with a beauty blender to blend that out. However, I will be using a brush on areas where it's closer to my eyeshadow or just I want to be a little more careful. So as you can kind of tell, the Marc Jacobs one is really very full coverage and the other one is just like a normal, like I would say regular to full coverage. It's like buildable. So I feel like it's a good combination to get the results that I'm looking for. I'm just going in with a brush on any areas where the beauty blender won't work. Now I'm going to be going in with two different concealers. Um, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Kalo one like I always do underneath my eyes right here and on my chin, oops, under my forehead. And I'm going to be going in with the NYX HD Studio concealer and this I'm just using to add a little more coverage in some areas like right on my lips, my nose. I'm going to use a beauty blender for my chin and then I'll start with the beauty blender under my eyes but I'll finish with a brush. With my forehead I'll be using a brush. Another thing that I want to do just because the red does stain a little and so it was hard to get a perfect line with my makeup wipe. So what I'm going to do is take this Luxie 221 flat definer brush. I'm just going to go right under where my eyeshadow is and kind of clean up that line a little. <laughs> that out I'm using a teeny tiny little BH Cosmetics 129 concealer brush and just lightly tapping to blend that out. Alright, I'm now going to contour using the Charlotte Tilbury Easy Contour Contour Wand. This is the one that I originally meant to order and I actually ordered the highlighter instead so I went ahead and ordered the contour wand. Um, I've used it once before and I will say it's definitely more of a contour. It's not so much like a bronzing shade. It's a very cool toned contour shade. So I'm just going to focus it mostly right here. Oh, that's a lot. It's fine. Just in this little area. And do one little tiny dot under my lip that I'll blend out. And then instead of going in straight with this on my nose, I'm just going to dab the stippling brush a little bit there and use that to like lightly contour my nose. My attempt to not put as much foundation on my nose was actually, it, it's not bad. Uh, you can kind of see my freckles still peeking through, so I might just jump the gun and add a few fro freckles. But I really want to have some like more natural skin since this eye makeup look is so intense. And then I'm just gonna blend this out using the same Morphe little stippling brush that I always do. And this blends out really nicely, but you can tell, like it's definitely a more neutral, cool contour shade as opposed to like a bronzer. The product goes on pretty heavy, but it blends out very well. today so we're using all studio lights which can be a little harsh especially like it it's like my under eyes do not look this crazy in person they just look crazy like in the camera but I keep thinking I need to come back in and like tap it out because it looks so wild but it looks good in the mirror so I don't know we'll see for blush today I'm gonna be using the NARS liquid blush in the shade Torrid this blush is super pigmented so the way that I do it is I do one squirt on the back of my hand like just one and it's only this much and that's enough for my whole face pretty much 
And then I take, this is a Morphe, no, I'm lying, this is a BH Cosmetics 123 brush, and I kind of just, like, separate it on my hand like that, and then I take it on my face. So it's more natural, not as, like, harsh. So a little goes a long way with this one. But I did add a little bit to my nose. But yeah, I think it's so pretty. It just is, like, a very natural, like, sun-kissed look. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and take my RCMA No Color Powder, and I am going to lightly bake under my eyes and my chin, and then I am going to go ahead and just carve out this area just a little bit, even though I am going to put powder bronzer on, just so it has that shape to begin with. Um, another thing I'm going to do is take that same powder and any areas where I had like some acne or just areas of concern, I'm going to make sure to set those extra. And I just press the powder into it. And then I'm going to lightly set my forehead. Both of these foundations that I use today are very matte, so you don't necessarily need to set them um, other than under your eyes where the concealer is. But I still want to do it because my skin is bad. Um, another thing that I will say, because my skin is a little bit on the rough side today, is anywhere that I have acne, I make sure that I don't put anything shimmery on it. So, like, because I have this little patch of acne right here, I will make sure to use a matte bronzer and not anything with shimmer in it. Otherwise, it'll kind of ca it catches the light because it's raised, and it just really emphasizes the fact that you have texture or acne or whatever's going on. Um, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Bronzer, and as you can see, I use this a lot. I'm going to be taking that on a Morphe M177 brush, and I'm just going to press it first and then blend it in. Especially over here where my acne is, I'm probably not going to blend as much because I don't want to take any of the concealer off of that area. And then for blush, I'm going with the Morphe 9N palette, and I'm going to be using this shade with a little bit of this middle shade, and I'm just taking that on a Morphe E4 brush. Doing a lot on my nose today because I really like the overall pink vibe that we have going. I think it's cute. Um, now to finish off my eyes in the picture she does like almost nothing to her lower lash line and I actually think it looks really pretty so I'm gonna take just this little morphe pencil type of brush it's a little bit fluffier than a pencil and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here ever so lightly and just lightly smoke this lash line but just a little like I don't want it to be very noticeable I just want it to be very subtle. Then I will take my NYX Worth the Hype mascara, coat my bottom lashes. I'm now going to take the Kylie Cosmetic um, Loose Highlight in the shade Santorini on a little pencil brush and highlight the inner corners of my eyes. Now that I did that, I'm going to go back in with my liquid liner and add a little more of a cat eye type of a look in here. So basically you just follow your eye line and just extend it a little and it gives that like lifted, elongated, like fox, foxy eye thing that's really in right now. From there, for lips, I'm going to go with just something really nude and classic. So I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, which I just got this and it's already like, I will never not have this. It's my favorite lip liner. And I'm just going to lightly line my lips with it. And then for lipstick, I'm going to take the Becca Lip Ultimate Lipstick in the shade Dusk. This is one of my like everyday go-to colors. It's so pretty. And then just to make it a little more pouty, I'm going to take the Kylie Lip Liner, which is a little bit darker, and add that just to the outer corner. I also just realized that I never put on a highlight, so I'm going to add just a little bit of Prosecco Pop by Becca. But I just, very subtle, very, very subtle. 
just adding some Ofra Blissful highlighter to my shoulders and my collarbones because I like to be glowy on my body. And after that, I just put on some setting spray and now we're done. So there you have it. This is the finished look. I think it's really pretty. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see in my next video. I upload new videos every Saturday and sometimes Wednesdays. So I appreciate you for watching and yeah, have a great day. Okay, I look crazy. Not too pink, not too, not. Okay, so I went ahead and applied some, some, I can't speak. You can tell my skin is so bad, it's so red, I'm just, ugh, it looks terrible.